Have you ever been annoyed by the Google Roads map of Komoot? There are so many nice passes, but Komoot is unable to set up a route on it. But no worry guys, why don't you use other routing apps to set up this route you want? And then import the GPX file to Komoot for navigation outdoor. Do you want to know how to do this? Stay tuned! My name is Thomas from Harzer Bergwald Channel, your number one Komoot help channel. I'll be back in a few seconds. And here we go again. My favorite app for planning routes off-site Komoot is Gmaps or Google Maps. Um, all you need is a Google account. If you don't have one, just create it. And then start Gmaps. Open the menu and open your places. Go to Maps and create a new map. And I will look for the same area we have open in Komoot. It's Vienne in France. So here we are. Zoom in. And I think this is the area we try to set up a route. To set up a route, we need some waypoints. We set this waypoint here by this one, by this add marker. And um, you can use up to 10 waypoints, but you don't need so much because you can drag and drop uh, the pass. Um, so we set up one, save it, set another one on the planet pass and then we set a third one so that's all and now we add directions for the routing first you have to change the transportation mode to walking because some roads some passes are closed for cars and motorcycles and then the routing uh, except here just walking passes so close this clear this one and then we choose this waypoint as starting point choosing the next one as point B at another destination because we have three waypoints and then to close the route we add we add the final destination point B and click here and that is all this is our planet route you can change uh, the pass by drag and drop I told you click left mouse button hold it and then release to change the path but we will not do this now you don't have to save the route because uh, by planning online here on uh, my maps uh, all you do will save it immediately and now we need uh, the download file for uh, the import to come out and Please press here. Uh, first, we change the name of the map so it's easier to find it in your download um, folder. So we name it Test Tour, save it, and then click this menu and then export to KML or KMZ. So we use the KML file, I download it, and then save it. But you cannot import your route yet to Komoot because 
Commod supports only GPX files and we just have a KML file so you have to convert it. I use gypsies.com to convert the file. So move to gypsies.com, open convert and then choose the folder where your KML file is. Choose the KML file and then open and here use a GPX track and then convert and save it. So this was converting the file to a GPX file. Now we are ready to import uh, the GPX file to Comode. Um, do not use the GPX file to import the plan a route uh, because Comode cannot plan on this passes. That's the reason why we was planning the route on uh, GMAPS and just use import activity. Hit the button and then choose your GPX file. Open it and here is the imported route. Um, you can change the activity to hiking, bike or climbing or whatever. You can change the name and you can change the date. Uh, you will find the tour later in your completed tours. Maybe it's good to change the date to an actual date uh, to find it in your list. And you can set here the privacy for the route and then import activity. And here is your planet route offside the Commod map. To use this, this route uh, for navigation you just open uh, as completed tour on your mobile phone and then start to following the track. Komoot will not support by uh, voice navigation or by uh, navigation on the application. You just follow the track uh, like we did on the third tutorial you remember. And now after finishing this tutorial you are a real Komoot routing pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a like. Add the Hatsa Bergwa channel to your favorite channels and hope to see you soon to our next video. Goodbye!